Hey, pink ladies, it's time for some small talk. First and foremost, if no one said they love you today, I love you. Pinky loves all her pink ladies. And I mean it too. <laughs> yes, I do. Now, here's the, the, the topic. And it's just going to be small and brief. I don't want it to be too long. But I do want all my pink ladies to comment. You can share with a friend. Tell a friend. See what they have to say and whatever. And have them comment. You can even have them subscribe. The more pink ladies, the better. Y'all know how I feel about that. But here's the situation. So it's hot here again in L.A. We're heading towards the three digits. So um, a few of my best friend and pink ladies, we decided to go to Yogurt Land and have some yogurts and just have some small talk. Um, the small talk came about because we were sitting um, in yogurt land having our yogurt and two couples came in. The two couples that came in, it was two African American male men and then the one of the guy, gentlemen had a Caucasian girlfriend and then the other gentleman had a Hispanic girlfriend but they were all four of them were together so we were like oh they look nice and blah 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 it just brought up a topic um, the topic was how do you feel about interracial dating me personally my answer to that is you know what you, you God put people in your life for a reason it um, love has no colors it, you, you can't help who you fall in love with they may be black they may be Caucasian Hispanic Ethiopian African Vietnamese Chinese whatever there's all kind of nationality and beautiful men and women for one another you never know who you're gonna be blessed with it's my response to that so uh, um response from a lot of other of the other pink ladies but one of my friends bought her girlfriend with her I had only met this young lady today but however what came out of her mouth is what surprised me in my stomach dream. She said, well, the way I feel about it, that's why I don't like being black because I feel like if I was another nationality, I would be able to get a man. Bye, Felicia. I, I, y'all y'all know I don't like the, 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 to call people out their name, but my stomach dropped and I was like, if this, this broad don't get her ding dongy weirdo ass up out of my, my area with that, that, that foolishness. That just made no sense to me. So I said, excuse me, are you telling me that you don't like being black because you don't have a boo? That's what she said. She said the reason why she don't have a boo is because she's black. But if she would be another nationality or race, she would be able to get her uh, handsome, um, well-educated brother or get, um, and then that way. You know, she don't have to worry about dating outside another race because she would have her a black man. And I know me explaining that to y'all, it may even sound stupid, but that's what she said. So, pink ladies, I am really pissed about what she said. So, therefore, I got up and excused myself and left because she turned that small, interesting conversation conversation until, into something meaningless to where I just didn't even want to deal with it no more. I took my yogurt and got my ass up and came to the house. I need for y'all to comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And I can't wait to see what you ladies have to say about this one. Because that was about the dumbest spit I had heard in weeks. She said once again and then you comment that she does not like being black because she can't get a boo or a black man so she would rather be another race or have another nationality y'all me ending this I love being black my black is beautiful I am flawless I am happy being me I am blessed with I am happy to be blessed with the skin that God blessed me with and within so ladies comment below Share with your girl Pinky what you think about this topic and what this ding dong or well we're gonna call her weirdo said. Bye.